Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray that the Most High blesses this lesson this evening, gives more knowledge, understanding of the events of the past, in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. <clears throat> We're talking about make America great again. And you have two lines going on right now, two pathways to making America great again. For the people who are awakened, it is uh, abundantly clear that which uh, the two paths there are. And I was watching a, um, <clears throat> a little clip from CNN this morning from Dr. Sanjay Gupta. And he was talking about how it seems as if the uh, people here in this country, the uh, people on top, the ones that are making the decisions, have just given up on trying to um, contain the plague that has been unveiled. Many people are still holding out hope. You know, all of a sudden now the NBA released its schedule last night and they're getting ready to go and try to play in, in Florida and we know what's going on there. And, um, you know, but people aren't looking at what the Most High is showing the world. They just are still holding out hope to continue with lives as it was before March 2020. So the vast majority of the world is putting their faith in this Make America Great Again pathway. They want to go back to the, how things were before. So they still say that they um, read the Bible, love the Bible and everything else, but the vast majority of them have no understanding of what our scriptures are actually saying. They read our Bible, but then they have um, they have been taught lies. Like it's, it was talked about how all their fathers have inherited, have given them lies, and they've inherited lies from their father. So a lot of the history that they've been taught have all been a bunch of lies. I mean, many of them barely heard about Black Wall Street last week for the first time. Most of them act like as if, you know, last like month or so was the first time they've heard that black and brown people have been uh, in slavery for 400 plus years. Because the history they've been taught, you know, you hear these people like Trump here talking about, we don't want the statues to come down because, you know, we don't want them to uh, denigrate our history. And see that, you know, history has been given by the people who have won the wars. They're the ones that have dictated what is history and what is not. But see, the Most High has now given us the truth. He's revealing the fact that much of the history, all of the history, you know, that these people have been coming up with, you know, the vast majority of it has been fabricated. It's been like a Groundhog Day. It happened in the 1600s, but then they said it happened, you know, in the BCs or the early, um, you know, in the hundreds, 200s, second century, third century. You know, they, their history just repeat, has just repeated itself twice. And that's what's been going on. It happened now after the 14th, 15th, 16th century, but then they made it sound like it happened before with just different names and different people way before when it never did. And there's no proof that it did. So same thing with the Bible. They made it sound like they've, they've had our Bible for a very long time, but they haven't. And their understanding, they've never understood it because they try to take our book and make it a universal book. So therefore they're looking for, you know, to pretty much substantiate the things that they've come up with. So today, what do they do? They just trot out a couple of black faces, make it seem as if they've loved us the entire time. Many of these people have been just have sold out their people. Who do, who's even say that there are people in the first place? But their spirits are wrong. Their spirits are different. Their spirits are all about maintaining the make America, Amer make America great again for the, uh, for the Gentiles.
now that uh, Trump is having a difficult time, they just tried out some new faces. Well, not even new faces, old faces that have been there for <clears throat> a very long time and making it seem as if they're going to be our white knights in shining armor and going to fix everything for us when they've had plenty of opportunity to try to fix things for us. So it's just nothing but repackaging, right, of old, you know, of old milk. That is repackaging rotten meat. That's all that it is. These people have never been about helping us, never been about making things great for us. They're still thinking all about making things great again for the Gentiles. Nothing new. None of these guys are for the restitution of the most highest chosen people. Doesn't matter if you're Republican, Democrat, doesn't matter. But if you're still stuck in that system, that's the path that you're taking as far as making America great, making America great again for the Gentiles. You know, they're talking about bringing down the statue and they make it sound like that's just, you know, even talking about the statue of Jesus is just, you know, just something that's way out of bounds. Well, we have proof that that this, you know, the stat, these statues of white Jesus were brought over here in 1492. They were brought over here with the Spanish and continued with all the other European countries. So again, the pushing of white Jesus is still pushing make America great again for the Gentiles. And I just love how the Christians try to act like as if they're not with the Catholics and there's something totally different. Do some research. The only thing different is that the Catholics brought over Mary and baby Jesus. And all you Protestants and Christians, all you guys did was just make Jesus a grown up. Pretty much the same doctrine that the Catholics have with a, a few tweaks here or there. A few tweaks here or there is not going to fix it. Just gonna, it's just putting lipstick on a pig. It's still a pig. Just because you try to dress it up a little bit, make it look a little different, make it look a little more appetizing, doesn't change the fact that it's still a pig. And if the Most High is not down with Make America Great Again for the Gentiles. Now here, right here, this is what the, you know, this is what the uh, Spanish brought over here. The Virgin Mary made it seem as if the Virgin Mary is the one that is um, right here interceding for our people, interceding on, they, make, they still make it seem like it's their lands. So it's again, it's no different. Okay. It's still Catholic doctrine. You want to call it Christian. You want to call it Methodist, Baptist, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. The Most High is not down with the Virgin Mary taking over our lands. Still, this right here is make America great again for the Gentiles. This was the example of the greatness of the Gentiles, having our lands, having our people, doing whatever it was they wanted to do with us, killing us, rape, rob, murder, Right there is the head, right there, being hung, being lynched. And here are the crowds right here. This was all part of their blessing. So this is all part of making America great again for the Gentiles. Us going through our generational curses. You know, I love how they always love to say, well, we didn't have slaves. We didn't do this. We didn't do that. This kid right here, he didn't do anything to be in slavery either. But this was a generational curse, curse handed down from generation to generation. He didn't do anything. Our daughters didn't do anything to deserve to be born into slavery. But if the Most High deems that that's our punishment, just like he, we pay for, you know, for the sins of our fathers, that's exactly what we've done. So when we were born, we were born into a... Uh, a low state, low state of society, no one caring about us, everyone ignoring all the, the, the plight of our people. 
Go to Lamentations 5 and 7. talks about us having to pay for the sins of our father. And that's exactly what we've done. So all of these are all part of Make America Great for the Gentiles. Now, that was the first path that's been in, in, in effect for a very long time. This is the second path, the one that the Mosiah is revealing to his people now, and the ones that want to cleave to the Mosiah and his chosen people. Make the Americas great again, as if it was before the Gentiles got here. So you think the Mosiah is down with making America great again for the people he uses are whooping stick, or is he going to give them another chance to put us under their thumb again? Or was that talking about make the Americas great again for his people? Return the land to its original inhabitants. Return the people to their original states. So now it's like you're going to start making, you know, start thinking about what's really been going on when you read like Second Chronicles 7 and 14. Let me get that really fast. Because you got many people reading scriptures, and then but they're taking it and then applying it to people that it does not apply to. Second Chronicles seven and fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. So now you got to stick at Second Chronicles seven fourteen and see what is it? Who is this referring to? Is it referring to the Gentiles in a land that's not theirs, or is it referring to the Hebrew Israelites, the Shemites, and returning the land back to those people? Remember now, we just did a video about King James coming over here, sixteen o three. All of a sudden, in sixteen o four, he starts to want to uh, translate the Bible. Well, why is it all of a sudden he wants to do a retranslation of the Bible? Because it seems more than likely he came over here and got some information. Okay? And then it all of a sudden wants to uh, wants to start to uh, translate it. But with that translation, then they did that over there in the three parts over there in Europe. And then they brought that book back over here again to make it seem as if everything started over there. That information was always referring to the Most High's chosen people. It was always referring to the Most High's chosen people in their lands. It was not referring to Gentiles coming over and taking our lands and then us praying for them to continue to hold our land. That's what we should be praying for, the restoration of our lands to the Most High's people. Because see, forever, they, they, we were in these churches praying for them to keep our lands because they had us in there thinking that you know, America was their land over there. And it's not. And we want the restoration of our lands worldwide. We know we have lands in other places as well. And that's what we're looking for. That's what we want the Most High to do, to get to restore everything back to his people. So just like right here, 2020, the person right there with the mask on, Restoration. 2020 will be the year of the rest of the beginning of the restoration. Because they knew it, they know it, they even put it on their money. You think that's all an accident? Prophecy right here. At the feet, right there, the mixing of the clay, right, and the steel right there. The legs of iron. The revived Roman Empire coming over here and taking over our lands. But we know at the end, the Most High is going to make everything right once again. So as you can see right there, that, or, uh, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14 playing out in the feet. Forever they had the clay, our people, praying for them to keep our lands. And we know that that's not about to happen because the Most High said it's not. Because that's what's in prophecy right now. So like I said, there's two pathways right now. The pathways of the Gentiles 
and making America great for them once again, or the second path, make America great again for the original Aborigines of these lands and the restoration of his people. You choose which path you want to take. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.